Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfake here and welcome back to another Battlefield 4 video. So today with the second part of the gameplay from the previous video, starting out with a death, not the best to start with, I guess. But anyways, today's topic, as previously mentioned, are my gameplay standards, just for normal gameplay and uh, montage clips and stuff like that. And uh, maybe also a small talk or a brief talk about stats. So um, I made a video a while ago or a couple of weeks ago uh, where I was talking about something similar. I think it was called YouTube Sniper and I was basically talking about YouTubers like cherry picking their gameplay always ever like showing their best gameplay. And of course um, this is where standards usually come into place because for different people different things are different uh, are like good or bad. For example this gameplay right here. Um, towards the end I think we won with 1400 um, to 0 and my final KD was 26 to 4 and I was like second or third on the scoreboard. So I was doing my part in the gameplay, however for me personally I still felt like this was a bad gameplay, at least for the sniping part. Specifically in the last video where I was talking about the FN57, which again I'm using right here, it was no problem because I got a, lots of cool clips with the pistol. However my, my aim just in general was really sluggish just from my point of view. So for me personally this gameplay is a bad gameplay. Of course, if you just like straight out look at the stats again, and this is also why it's kind of similar to, uh, to the last video, um, you would say that this is good gameplay. You won the round, this, there was a, a really like big advantage for your team, um, you were doing good, you got lots of points in it, etc, etc, etc. And the point is that um, for me, I'm more of a, well, you could almost call me, I guess, something like a perfectionist, but like in a positive way, because if you have not seen my perfectionist montage, go there, go there. I will make a link somewhere and you have to go there and watch it, but yeah, um, it's basically that you cannot achieve perfection, but the striving for perfection is basically perfection in itself, because you, well, basically the, the way to perfection is the already the goal, if you know what I mean. Um, you should watch the montage if you want to know more about that, but that's basically how I look at positive perfection. Of course, there's negative per, uh, perfection as well when you're kind of a more a like really nitpicking and being really precise, like over really overly precise at the point where there's like no more performance gained and stuff like that. And I would probably um, call myself more of a por uh, positive perfectionist. However, this usually means that, for example, when I'm going for gameplay, and I'm often going for gameplay, and I have a round like this right here, I will most likely delete it right after it because I was feeling like, okay, this shot, I missed th these shots, I missed just so many shots, and I've, I've made so many stupid decisions and mistakes, and they got me killed over and over again, and then I got there were like lots of, of crappy deaths with um, dying behind cover, like lots of unnecessary stuff which I think nobody wants to see. And again, this in return makes it a bad gameplay for me. Now of course when you talk about standards this is kind of a norm thing so for example for montage standards these days you want to have a high point streak. For me again personally though I do not just want to have a high point streak I want to have really clean and simple like it should it should look simple and clean like one shot one kill headshot one shot one kill headshot and just being really accurate not spamming not missing anything because as soon as I miss one shot I, I won't be using it in a montage and Again, this is kind of a, well, you could call it maybe a negative tick, even though I call it more of a positive perfectionism. But I guess you could, well, call it either way, depending on what your kind of take on the topic is. Because this is an opinion, everyone else has different opinions, and this, of course, means that we're all different. But yeah, um, again, I think this pretty much wraps it up for this commentary. Please let me know what you think about the whole topic and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. But I think it's pretty much all for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like a skill faker out.